Hello everyone, welcome to another video of real-time interview question series on Tosca. So basically I'm going to give, explain a scenario and see if you can solve this. So basically I'm taking this automation mock website and I'll just key in the credentials. So see in this particular uh, automation mock website on this products page, you'll find a lot of different products. Okay. However, my scenario is uh, user can come and select any product whichever they want okay. so let's say they have selected three products now I'll click on this particular link and here I'll be able to find whatever user has added okay. now my scenario is I want to remove the second product whatever second product is appearing here so this is going to be dynamic based on what the user is entering okay. my scenario is the second product needs to be removed now if I remove this and add some other element then it is going to change the second product is going to ch change as you can see here right so that is what the scenario is uh, how will you approach this or how will you solve this pause this for a moment and just think about uh, how we can resolve the scenario okay so basically when you want to solve this there are n number of ways you can approach this like uh, you can use a uh, 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 anchor or you can uh, use image based identification and all those things as well but if there is an efficient way to manage it in Tosca, which is called as explicit name. So what is explicit name? Explicit name is a configuration parameter in Tosca, which allows you to identify something based on the number of repetitions. So I'll explain that uh, using uh, the row and column concept or the range concept. So basically here, if you see there are three remove buttons. Okay. This could become more, this could become less, but my condition is to second select the second one. Okay. So I'll show if I go to my modules and try to capture this. Okay. Try to capture the second remove button. This is an interesting concept, so pay attention. So if I select this and I click on scan, and we'll select the second remo remove button. And if I select the second remove button, okay. And I go to the properties of this. Here, if you will see that uh, it is taking ID and it is taking the tag to identify it uniquely. However, I can remove ID because this is tied to the product name which could change in our scenario. So I'll remove this and I'll take inner text. Why I'm taking inner text is because for all the remove buttons, the inner text is going to be same. You can check by selecting other remove buttons to see, but that is how it is going to be. But it is not going to be unique, okay. But this should be a good enough start for us to work with this. So let's say I'll write this as a explicit name. Okay. Now if I save this module and I close this, okay, and I go to my uh, modules and I'll create a new test case. So I'll just drag and drop and I'll create a test case here. Uh, sorry about that. Go to my test case. I'll create a test case here. So here, if you see, in case of explicit name here, if I mention in case of Tosca, if I mention hash one, then it is going to see that how many remove buttons are there and whichever is appearing first, it is going to enter uh, like perform the action, whatever you have uh, mentioned here on the first item. And similarly, if you mention two, if you mention three, accordingly, it is going to select the item. Okay, but here if you see, if I go here to remove and I'll try to remove this, I won't be able to remove this. Okay, however, right click and if I jump to module attribute, I should be able to do the changes here. Okay, whatever changes I want, I can do here. But uh, in case I want to select the third one, in case I want to select the fourth one, I want that flexibility. Okay, so for that to happen, what you can do is, let me move it this side whatever element you want you go to that particular element and you right click and here you will find configuration parameter remember it is configuration parameter so i'll click on create configuration parameter and here you will write explicit name e n n is going to be capital so here if i mention i have to mention true here okay the moment i do this explicit name true and i go back to my test case here you will see now I will be able to change this with whatever name I want. So 
by using explicit name in the configuration parameter property of the module i am getting that flexibility now i can enter anything in this but let's say i enter hashtag one so what it is going to do is it is going to perform an operation on the first remove button okay we have captured one property uh, inner text and the tag button uh, but since we understand that okay these uh, these buttons are going to be similar then we know that this is going to work however in your scenario you can take a look and understand uh, uh, if this is working perform a few dry runs and see if this is something which is going to help your scenario okay now let's say i want to click on this okay so uh, our scenario was to select the second remove button so i'll just click on two here okay now if i'll run this it should select the second remove button okay so we'll see if this works now this is going to be irrespective of the product name see it is selecting the second item and it has removed it okay now this is what we wanted to achieve but if we would have selected the product name then and if any other product is coming then it would not work so let's say now only two products are there right now let's say i want to select the second product in this as well so i'll run and it is in two products it is going to click on remove on the second product so uh, let's see this in action if this works so see this is working fine okay so now it will depend whatever number of products you have it is going to select second item now in case you want to change that you have the flexibility to change it to whatever number of item you want third fourth fifth first second or something like that okay so this is how you were able to efficiently find the property of the element using uh, using this particular nomenclature the first one the second one the third one the fourth one and this we got it enabled using the explicit name function okay now in case you would have worked with the web tables uh, you would have already noticed that in case of uh, tables you will have row and columns and in order to navigate to one particular row or column you will put uh, hashtag first row and in column hashtag second or three or something like that so that's how you navigate in case of tables so what happens in case of tables in case you have not noticed this you go to your modules whenever you capture a table you will see automatically explicit name is captured okay uh, this particular configuration parameter property is going to be available now here you can mention true you can mention a range as well to work with and in case of tables you'll see automatically this is being populated so this is how it is used and we can efficiently use this to uh, solve our scenarios like this okay in case this was helpful do like share and subscribe and i have a lot of videos in this particular series which are going to help in your interview so do take a look and let me know for any questions. Have a great day. Thank you.